Sirach, Ecclesiasticus 47. And after him rose up Nathan to prophesy in the time of David, as is the fat taken away from the peace offering. So was David chosen out of the children of Yashareel. He played with lions as with kids, and with bears as with lambs. Slew he not a Rephai when he was yet but young? And did he not take away reproach from the people when he lifted up his hand with the stone in the sling and beat down the boasting of Goliath? For he called upon El Elyon, Yahweh, and he gave him strength in his right hand to slay that mighty warrior and set up the horn of his people. So the people honored him with ten thousands and praised him in the blessings of Yahuwah, in that he gave him a crown of glory. For he destroyed the enemies on every side and brought to naught the Pelish theme his adversaries, and broke their horn in sunder unto this day. In all his works he praised the Holy One Most High with words of glory. With his whole heart he sung songs and loved him that made him. He set singers also before the altar, that by their voices they might make sweet melody and daily sing praises in their songs. He beautified their feasts and set in order the solemn times unto the, until the end, that they might praise his holy name and that the temple might sound from morning. Yahuwah took away his sins and exalted his horn forever. He gave him a covenant of kings and a throne of glory in Yashara'el. After him rose up a wise son, and for his sake he dwelt at large. Shalomah reigned in a peaceable time and was honored. For Elohim made all quiet round about him, that he might build a house in his name, and prepare his sanctuary for ever. How wise were you in your youth, and, as a flood, filled with understanding, your soul covered the whole earth, and you filled it with dark parables. Your name went far unto the islands, and for your peace you were beloved. The countries marveled at you for your songs and proverbs and parables and interpretations. By the name of Yahuwah Elohim, which is called Yahuwah Elohim of Yashara'el, you did gather gold as tin and did multiply silver as lead. You did bow your loins unto women, and by your body you were brought into subjection. You did stain your honor and pollute your seed, so that you brought wrath upon your children and were grieved for your folly. So the kingdom was divided, and out of Ephraim ruled a rebellious kingdom. But Yahuwah will never leave off his mercy, neither shall any of his works perish. Neither will he abolish the posterity of his elect, and the seed of him that loves him he will not take away. Wherefore he gave a remnant unto Yaakov, and out of him a root unto David. Thus rested Shalomah with his fathers, and of his seed he left behind him Rechav Am, even the foolishness of the people, and one that had no understanding, 
who turned away the people through his counsels. There was also Yaravam, the son of Nevat, who caused Yashara'el to sin and showed Ephraim the way of sin. And their sins were multiplied exceedingly, that they were driven out of the land, for they sought out all wickedness till the vengeance came upon them.